Welcome to Electron Line, our third example of how to do a, a line integral with a vector field, and in this case our vector field is defined here in terms of x and y as e to the x minus y in the i direction plus x times y in the j direction, and the curve along which we're going to integrate, because always what we're trying to do here is we're trying to find the work done, which is the, the vector field multiplied by the derivative of the position vector, then we take the integral over the curve, over the path taken, and the path taken is defined by this equation right here using parametric variable t, that the position in terms of t is equal to t squared in the i direction plus t cubed in the j direction with t varying between 0 and 1. Now normally the position vector in terms of x and y is defined as x times i plus y times j. So when we make the comparison, we realize that x is equal to t squared and y is equal to t cubed. And then if we take the derivative of the position vector in terms of t, that will be 2t in the i direction plus 3t squared in the j direction. Now before we can actually put together the integral, we also must write the vector field f in terms of t instead of in terms of x and y. So we'll have to make the replacement there as well. So we can then write that the force field or the vector field in terms of t is equal to e to the and instead of x we're going to replace x by t squared so this becomes t squared minus 1 and that's in the i direction plus x times y so that x times y would be t to the fifth in the j direction. So now we're ready to plug that into our equation. We can say that the work done is equal to the line integral of the product of the vector field in terms of the, well, the uh, parameter t and then dot it, as we say, with the, um, well, let's see here, maybe better. we'll write it like this. We're going to write it as the derivative of the r vector with respect to t times dt. Somehow I like that format a little bit better. So this is really the same thing as that, but written out like this. We now plug in what those are equal to. So this is equal to the integral from 0 to 1 of this, which is e to the t squared minus 1. Now we can separate this. You can say that e to the t squared minus 1 is really equal to e to the t squared times e to the minus 1. So this can be written as 1 over e times e to the t squared, and that would be in the i direction, and then plus, uh, not, not that, but t to the fifth in the j direction. So there's my vector field right here, and I'm going to multiply via the dot product times the derivative of the position vector, which is right here. So it would be 2t in the i direction plus 3t squared in the j direction times dt. And now when we multiply two vectors together via the dot product, we multiply the i components together and the j components together, and we end up with a scalar instead of a vector. The i's and the j's drop off. So this becomes equal to the integral from 0 to 1 of multiply this times this. That gives us 2 over e times, let's see, I'm going to write it like this, 2 over e, or actually, I'm going to write it like this, 1 over e times e to the t squared times 2t dt. I'm actually going to separate, separate these in two separate integrals. That makes it easier to see. So the 2t is going to be written over here times dt. We have 1 over e, which is the constant, which really could have been taken outside the integral sign. And then we have plus the product of these two, which is 3 times the integral of t to the 7th dt from 0 to 1. And yes. Now, why did I write it like this? Because when we want to integrate e to the t squared, we have to have a 2d dt. So the de derivative of the exponent is 2t. And of course, the derivative of t is dt. So the proper differential for e t to the t squared is 2t dt. And so luckily enough, we, we have that and we can integrate that. So this becomes equal to 1 over e from our constant here times the integral of e to the t squared, which is e to the t squared, e to the t squared, evaluated from 0 to 1, plus 
And now we're going to integrate this one here, which is 3t to the 8 power divided by 8. And that's also evaluated from 0 to 1. So now let's go ahead and evaluate these. When we plug in the upper limit, we get e to the first power, because t squared, when t is replaced by 1, we get e to the 1. So e to the 1 divided by e to the 1 is simply 1. So this is, I'll just write it out, e divided by e, which is 1. We plug in the lower limit, we get e to the 0, which is 1, so that would be minus 1 over e. And then here, when we plug in the upper limit, we get 3 eighths. And plug in the lower limit, we get 0. And then this is 1, 1 plus 3 eighths, which is 11 eighths, minus 1 over e. And again, this was the work done when we move through the path defined by this right here. We move over this path through a vector field defined by that right there. And that's how it's done.